Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. So glad to see you. I've got a nice perfect day for trout fishing today. It's November, the month of November. It's nice and overcast, cloudy, absolutely perfect conditions. And today folks, I'm going to do something a little different. You know I like to bottom bounce with uh, row bags, but a lot of time people can't get their hands on row bags. Uh, so they can't use them. So a great alternative folks is a bead. You can go to your local shop and just pick up a bead that is used for trout fishing and uh, there's different sizes of beads. I've got what I'm going to say a medium sized bead on here right now and um, I've got I've chosen the color glow. I've gone with a glow bead only because the water is a little bit murky right now and uh, the glow bead I thought would give off a little more reflection so that's what I'm going with today. And the way you work beads folks it's very very simple. Um, you actually use the bead above your hook. So you slide a bead on and then I like to peg it about an inch above my sinker um, or sorry an inch above my hook so that it, uh, it's got a nice presentation it's nice and close to the hook but not too close. If you put it too close to your hook then what will happen is or what could happen is it could interfere with, uh, with the hook gap and then interfere with the hook set. So you want your bead to be about an inch. Some people go two inches above the hook, but I like to keep it a little bit closer. I like to go just about an inch above the hook. And of course I'm running the T-turn three-way swivel. That's gonna keep me tangle free. And uh, no line twist, no tangle, so that's perfect. And as you can see, all I'm doing is bottom bouncing that sinker. I've got a sinker on there. I've got a three-quarter ounce sinker, which is just heavy enough to keep me bouncing along the bottom. And uh, that's the key to using beads as well. You can't still fish with a bead. You have to get your line out there in the current. So we've got some faster current out there a bit further. It's not as fast in a bit closer here. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to concentrate and work this bead out in that deeper current. So I'm going to cast it out there uh, in that fast current and then just let it bottom bounce along the bottom and then what will happen is the trout will see it and they'll just snap at it because the bead looks like a single salmon egg. And uh, that's what they think it is and they pick it up and as soon as they pick up folks you got to set the hook immediately. No hesitation, set the hook right away. And today I'm really hoping to get into a nice brown trout. So glad you can join me folks. Uh, let's see what we get into today. But like I say, hopefully it will be a nice brown. Now there was one more thing I forgot to mention. What I like to do when I'm, when I'm using beads, I like to peg them in place with a toothpick. Very simple, toothpicks are readily available. Just put a toothpick in, poke it through, break it off, and that's it. And the other thing I like to do is I also like to do the same thing with the toothpick on the bottom of the bead, and that way it's really pegged in place and it's held quite nicely because that's, I found, one of the best ways to hold a bead in place. So, simple toothpick, that's all you need, folks. <laughs> that was a really nice pickup. Just as that bead was tumbling along, what a nice hit I got, and I set the hook right away. As I said earlier, you've got to set the hook right away when you feel a bite. Oh, it feels like a good fish, folks. Lighten up on my drag just a bit here. always exciting never know what it's gonna be a brown trout or a nice steelhead whatever it feels it feels like a decent fish and he's staying down there so I'm gonna take a guess I'm gonna guess that it's a brown trout only because he hasn't jumped yet I'm thinking if it was a steelhead he would have taken a jump by now but I could be wrong I'm just guessing <laughs> we shall see what it is but it feels like a good fish No, I gotta watch I don't lose them in the rocks. I got a good bit of pressure on them too. And let's see if I can get a look at them. Oh yes, it is a brown trout. I was right. It's a brown. Oh, it's a beautiful brown. Absolutely gorgeous brown trout. Look at that fish. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful brown trout. There we go, nice. And you can see my bead there, just out of the side of the mouth. Perfect, perfect hook set. Beautiful fish, gotta love that. 
Oh yeah. Okay, this guy deserves a nice photo for our Facebook and Instagram friends. That's gonna make for a great picture. Quick photo, we'll get him right back in the water again. Okay, that was a great little photo op. And like I say, look at this brown trout, folks. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful fish. Gorgeous colors. You gotta love that. Okay, let's get you right back in the water again, Mr. Brown. He wants to go. See you later. What a beautiful release. You gotta love that. Back into the current he goes, and away he goes. You don't need row bags, folks. Beads are a great alternative. They're readily available. Make your way to your local tackle shop and uh, get yourself some beads. Give it a try. You'll have a good time. I'm having a great time out here. It's a perfect day. I want to thank you ever so much for tuning in to today's episode of Funimus Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck. Good fishing. This is great. Using beads, a lot of fun. <laughs>